Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Stephen Bucks Coins and welcome to the latest video. This video is a review of the 25 cents coins. These are dated 2024. They're the US quarters from the women's series. The first of these for this year is the ones that you see at the moment and this is Reverend Dr. Paulie Murray. She was born on the 20th of November 1910 and she died at the age of 74 on the 1st of July 1985. She was born Anna Pauline or Paulie Murray. She's a civil rights activist, advocate and legal scholar and theorist. Worked on civil rights movement and she held a legal, expanded legal position for gender equality. She was born in Braithwaite, Maryland and essentially was raised there mostly by her maternal aunt in Durham, North Carolina. At the age of 16 she moved to New York to attend Hunter College and the Grand Guild of a BA degree in English in 1933. That's the award that she was awarded. If we take a look at the coins here, across the centre you have Hope written and there's a couple of pictures of Paulie Murray there within it. What else we have? It talks about what she actually did in her life, which is what I'm going to be covering in the in this rest of this video. In 1940, Murray set out in a whites only section of a, of a Virginia bus with friends and they were arrested for violation of the state laws against um, racial mixing. This led her to the involvement with her in the Socialist Workers Defence League and led to her working, working goal of a working as a civil rights lawyer. She enrolled in law school at Harrods University where she was the only woman in the class and she graduated first. She was denied the chance of a postgraduate work at Harvard because of her gender. It doesn't do with the race, but because of her gender. She called this prejudice against women as James Crow, alluding to the Jim Crow laws that enforced racial segregation in the southern US states. She earned her master's degree in law from the University of California in Berkeley. In 1965 she became the first woman of African descent to receive Doctor of Jewicidal Center. Center I can't read my own writing there. From Yale Law School. That was in 1965. Going back a little while, in 1950 she wrote a book called Law via race and colour. This was offered, afforded as a Bible of civil rights movement by the Thoroughgood Marshall School of the NAACP. And that's the National Association for the Advancement of Coloured People. JFK appointed her to be the Presidential Commissioners of Status of Women between 1961 and 1963 when of course he was very brutally killed or assassinated. In 1966 she co-defender co of the National Organization for Women. Ruth, Ruth Bagginshaw 
Um, and, and Murray co-authored the ACCU, uh, an ACCU paper. And in the landmark 1971 Supreme Court case, Reed versus Reed. In 1973, she left the condition for the for the Escapal 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 Church and became an ordained minister in 1977. Amongst the first generation of women priests and first African American woman. During her time, she wrote two biographies in 1970, Dark and in, in Dark Testament was reviewed in 2020, or reissued in 2020, should I say. She was married briefly to William Roy Wynne, but soon regretted this decision, and it was annulled on the 26th of March 1949. During the Great Depression, she worked as a scholarly subscriptor to the opportunity of the academic journal. So she was like a uh, reporter, junior, uh, junior type reporter type thing. Murray took a position at the uh, long term called the She Dashi Dashi camp. This was established by Eleanor Roosevelt to go alongside the CCC, which was an all-male camp. Women, uh, Murray later worked for the Young Women Christian Association. In 1938, she applied to, to an, a PhD program at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Cable, but was rejected because of her race. She died in 1985 of prostate cancer. In 2012, her church voted her a holy woman. So this woman had a very active and very roller coaster of her life. She unbelievably what she did for her for her for, for women for black women and black people and her and for herself as a woman there's an awful lot here and perhaps my reading of it isn't doing justice to her I hope that it has because she seems to be an exceptional woman uh, sadly no longer with us, but then again she led a very full life, for which this coin is a celebration of that. Okay, we've taken a look at the coin, I have both the Denver and the Philadelphia Mint Mark ones. If you've enjoyed this video, could you please give me a thumbs up, it doesn't cost you any money. Also, I am doing a minimum of five, but normally six, videos a week. Hoping that this will give you the opportunity of finding something that you don't want to watch. I am trying to increase my number again. I set myself a target of 425 subscribers by the end of December 2024. I currently am at 295 and we're approaching the end of March. So yes, I do need your help. If you believe I deserve it, would you please also subscribe to the channel. Now that the review is over, I hope if you're having a hunch you find all the coins that you're looking for. If you are buying coins, then I hope you can get coins for the price that you want to pay. And until we meet up again on this channel, which I hope will be not too far into the distant future, from me, thank you for watching and bye-bye. ta now.